computation of the dispersion. Use the general properties of mean values to show that the dispersion of u can be calculated by the general relation delta u square bar is u square average minus u average square. The last expression on the right provides a simple method for computing the dispersion. Show that i also implies the general inequality u square mean value is greater or equal to u mean value square. So uh, we're going to show two things here. One is this. The other one is the dispersion of u. Uh, so let's start with the deviation from the mean. So deviation from the mean delta u is defined as u minus u bar. So it's the deviation from the mean. Now if I take the square of this, so delta u square, this would be u square minus 2u u bar plus u bar squared. Now I can take the mean value of the uh, delta u squared, which is my dispersion or variance. So delta u squared mean value, that is by definition sum over all possible values of u. So let's put an index r here. Probability of u having a value u sub r multiplied by u sub r squared minus 2 u sub r u bar plus u bar squared. And uh, this is equal to sum over r probability of having a value u sub r multiplied by u sub r squared minus 2 u bar sum over r probability of having a value u sub r times u sub r plus u bar squared sum over r pr okay so this is the first term uh, we're multiplying u sub r squared with the corresponding probability and summing over all possible values that is by definition u square average value minus sum over r p r u r that is summing over all possible u r values weighted by their probabilities that is u bar so i have another u bar up front so this is 2 u bar squared and then i have plus sum over r p r over all possible r values that is the normalization condition that is 1. So this is u bar squared. So therefore this is equal to u squared bar minus u bar squared. So what we started out with was the dispersion of u delta u squared bar is u squared bar minus u bar squared. So that is the expression that is given in i. So indeed uh, this is the case. Now uh, since we have uh, a square of a quantity delta u square bar, we're taking the mean value of a square, this has to be greater or equal to zero and this is going to imply u square bar minus u bar square should be greater or equal to zero. Therefore, we find the uh, inequality given in ii, which is u square average value is greater or equal to u average value square. So uh, basically, we have shown both the expression given in i and ii. The first one and the second one. Okay, so what I have done here is basically uh, 
use the general properties of mean values to show the dispersion of u can be given by this general relation and uh, it also gives me an inequality for uh, the square of u uh, average value and u average value square so delta u which is deviation from the mean is u minus u bar uh, deviation from the mean square is u square minus 2u u bar plus u bar squared and if I take the average of the uh, square of the deviation uh, from the mean I get dispersion or variance so I started out with uh, deviation I looked at uh, deviation from the mean then I squared it then I take the square and then I look at variance or dispersion and the definition of the average is basically uh, sum over r pr uh, multiplied by the corresponding value so if you have a function f of uh, u you're taking its average this is by definition sum over r pr f of u r so uh, let me take it a little bit back here so f of u average value a function of u is sum over r pr f of u r so uh, i have used this relationship basically to get the dispersion of uh, u and sum over r pr u r squared minus 2 u r u bar plus u bar squared then i recognize u r times u r squared pr times u r squared that is probability times f of u is equal to u squared uh, or summed over all possible r values that is u squared mean value sum over r pr u r that is mean value of u and sum over r pr this is one this is one that is normalization okay so therefore i find that uh, completing the algebra here the variance is given by u square bar minus u bar squared and since I have the square of a quantity it has to be greater or equal to zero therefore u square average value should be greater or equal to u average value square